ओम शांति दिस इज दी साकार मुरले ऑफ थर्टी ऑफ नवम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रेन है ब्रॉड एंड अनलिमिटेड इंटेलेक्ट्स एंड डू दी सर्विस ऑफ मेकिंग दी होल वर्ल्ड इन टू दी लैंड ऑफ हैप्पीनेस फ्राम अ लैंड ऑफ सॉरो एंड प्योर फ्राम इम प्योर save your time do not waste it question who is healthy and who is unhealthy on the path of knowledge answer those who churn the ocean of knowledge and experience it to be a form of entertainment in their lives are healthy those who cannot churn the ocean of knowledge are unhealthy when a cow eats grass it chews it all day its mouth continues to work if its mouth is not working it would be understood that the cow is ill it is the same here om shanti you sweetest beloved long lost and now found children come to the unlimited father in order to be refreshed because you children know that you will receive the sovereignty of the unlimited world from the unlimited father you should never forget this if you children constantly remember this you can experience limitless happiness repeatedly continue to look at the vases that baba has had made while you are walking and moving around oh ho through god's srimat we are becoming this look at the bags and continue to say baba baba and you will have constant remembrance we are becoming this lakshmi narayan lakshmi and narayan through the father so you should follow the father's srimat sweet children you should have very broad and unlimited intellects continue to have thoughts of just service throughout the day baba wants those children who cannot stay without doing service you children have to surround the whole world that is you have to make the impure world pure you have to make this whole world of sorrow into a land of happiness a teacher enjoys teaching good students together with being students you have also become elevated teachers the better a teacher is the more she will make others the same as herself she will never get tired there is great happiness experienced in doing godly service you receive the father's help this is a huge unlimited business it is you business people who become wealthy you are the ones who are excited with this path of knowledge the father too is the unlimited businessman the deal is first class however you have to have a lot of courage in this new children can go ahead of the older ones in their efforts each one's fortune is individual and each one has to make individual effort you have to check yourself fully those who carry out such checking remain engaged in making effort day and night they would say why should we waste our time as much as possible save your time some make a firm promise to themselves that they will never forget the father and that they will definitely claim a scholarship such children then also receive help you will see such new effort making children and you will continue to have visions at the end you will see again what happened in the beginning the closer you come the more you will continue to dance in happiness on the path on the other side 
there will continue to be unnecessary bloodshed. The godly race of you children is now taking place. As you continue to race ahead, the scenes of the new world will continue to come closer and your happiness will continue to rise. Those who cannot see the scenes close to them will not experience that happiness. Now there should be disinterest in the Iron Age world and a lot of love for the new Golden Age world. If you remember Sib Baba, you will also remember your inheritance of heaven. If you remember your inheritance of heaven, you will also remember Sib Baba. You children know that you are now to go to heaven. Your feet are towards hell and your head is towards heaven. It is now the stage of retirement of all, young and old. Baba is always intoxicated. Oh ho, I will now go and become this little child Krishna. Daughters continue to send gifts in advance for that one. The Gopikas who have full faith are the ones who send gifts. They experience super sensuous happiness. We too will become the deities of the land of immortality. We became that in the previous cycle and we then took 84 rebirths. If you remember this somersault, then that too is your great fortune. Constantly stay in limitless happiness. You are winning a huge lottery. We attained our fortune of the kingdom 5000 years ago and we will receive it tomorrow too. It is fixed in the drama. We will take birth in the same way as we did in the previous cycle. We will have those same parents. The one who was the father of Krishna will be the same one. Those who churn the ocean of knowledge in this way throughout the day will remain very much entertained. If someone does not churn the ocean of knowledge, it means he is unhealthy. When a cow eats grass, it chews it all day long and its mouth continues to work. If its mouth doesn't work, it is understood that the cow is ill. It is the same here. Both the unlimited father and dada have a lot of love for you sweetest children. We teach you with so much love. We make you beautiful from ugly. The mercury of happiness of you children should rise. Your mercury will rise by having remembrance. The father does lovely service with a lot of love every cycle. He makes everyone including the five elements pure. This is such huge, unlimited service. The father continues to give you children teachings with a lot of love because it is the father's and the teacher's duty to reform the children. The father gives you Srima through which you become elevated. The more you remember him with love, the more elevated you will become. You also have to write in your chart whether you are following Srimad or following the dictates of your own mind. Only by following Srimad will you become accurate. The more love your intellect has for the Father, the more incognito happiness you will experience and you will become elevated. Ask your heart, do I have that unlimited happiness? Do I have that much love for the Father? To have love means to remember Him. It is only by having remembrance that you will become ever healthy and ever wealthy. You have to make effort not to remember anyone else. Remember Se Baba alone. Spin the discus of self-realization when you leave your body. Belong to one Sip Baba and none other. This is the final mantra. That is the mantra that discipline disciplines the mind. 
It is the mantra with which to conquer Ravan. The father explains, sweet children, you have remained body conscious for so long. Now practice becoming soul conscious. To transform your vision is a sign of your intellect having faith. Forget all your bodily relations and consider yourselves to be godly students. Let there be the vision of the brotherhood of soul consciousness. For only then will the vision of brother and sister of being a Brahma Kumar or Kumari become firm. Wake up early in the morning and remember the father. If you fall asleep, there will be a loss in your income. Wake up at Amrit Vela and have a sweet heart-to-heart -heart conversation with Baba. Baba, you have changed me completely from what I was. Baba, it is the wonder of you. Baba, you give us plenty of treasures and make us into the masters of the world. Baba, I can never forget you. While eating and doing everything, I will only remember you. By making such a promise, your remembrance will become firm. Most beloved Baba is knowledgeful and also blissful. From our being number one impure, he makes us number one pure. Simply bubble up in remembrance of sweet Baba. As Baba remembers this, he experiences a lot of happiness within. Oh ho, I will become Vishnu from Brahma. Then after 84 births, I will become Brahma again. Then Baba will make me into Vishnu. Then after half a cycle, Ravan will make me impure. This is such a wonderful drama. By remembering these things, you will always remain cheerful. Say, Baba is making me so worthy. Wah, fortune, wah. While having such thoughts become those who are completely intoxicated. Wah, I am becoming a master of heaven. Do not become happy simply thinking that you are doing service very well. First of all, continue to do your incognito service of remembrance. Practice becoming bodiless. It is only by doing this that you will benefit. As you develop this practice, you will repeatedly become bodiless. Today, Baba is especially emphasizing this. Those who practice this will be able to reach their karmatit stage and claim a high status. While sitting in this stage and remembering the Father, you will return home. Day by day, you should increase your chart of remembrance. Check to see to what percentage you have become Sato Pradhan from Tamo Pradhan. Do I cause anyone sorrow? My intellect is not trapped in any bodily being, is it? To how many people do I give the father's message? If you keep such a chart, you will make a lot of progress. Acha. Second, Murli. Today, you children are told about thoughts, sinful thoughts and being free from thoughts. That is, about actions, neutral actions and sinful action. While you are here, you will, continue, you will definitely have thoughts. No human being can stay for even a moment without having a thought. Thoughts will arise here. They will arise in the golden age and they will also arise on the path of ignorance. However, when you come into knowledge, thoughts are not then thoughts because you have become instruments to do God's service. The thoughts that arise for the yajna are not thoughts. They are neutral thoughts. The other useless thoughts that you have, that is thoughts of the ironized world, and about iron is it friends and relatives are said to be sinful thoughts through which sins are committed and then through these sinful actions sorrow is experienced the thoughts that you have for the yajna or for godly service are said to be neutral thoughts you may have pure thoughts for service look baba is sitting here in order to look after you children 
so the mother and father would definitely have thoughts about this service but these thoughts are not just thoughts sins are not committed through these thoughts however if someone has any vicious thoughts for any relations there are then definitely sins committed through those Baba says, you may serve your friends and relatives, but with a logic and spiritual vision, there shouldn't be any strings of attachment. Fulfill your responsibility while being free from any attraction. However, those who are here while being in karmic relationships and not able to become free from them should nevertheless not let go of the Father's hand. If you hold on to his hand, you will definitely claim one status or another. Each one of you knows what vice you have inside you. If someone has even one vice, then he is definitely body conscious. Those who do not have any vice are soul conscious. If someone has any vice, he will definitely experience punishment. And those who are free from the vices will become free from punishment. For instance, some children do not have any lust, anger, greed or attachment and they are able to do very good service. Their stage is filled with knowledge and yoga, brackets gyan and big gyan. All of you would vote on that. Just as I know, so all of you also know that everyone will vote for those who are good. Now have this faith. Those who have any vices are not able to do service. Those who are vice proof will be able to do service and make others the same as themselves. This is why you have to look after yourselves very well. You must have full victory over the vices. You must have full victory over sinful thoughts. Thoughts for God would be classified as neutral thoughts. In fact, Neutral thoughts would be referred to as a stage when you do not have any thoughts. You will be beyond sorrow and happiness at the end when you settle your karmic accounts and return home. There, you will have this stage of being beyond happiness and sorrow as you will not have any thoughts then. At that time, your stage will be being beyond action and neutral action. That is your stage will be of being free from accent. Here, you definitely have thoughts because you have become instruments to purify the whole world. So you would definitely have pure thoughts for that. Because you have your thoughts in the golden age, thoughts are not just thoughts and the accents you perform are not just accents, but they are said to be neutral accents. Do you understand? It is only the father who explains to you the philosophy of accents, neutral accents and sinful accents. It is only the one father who frees you from performing sinful accents. He is teaching you now at the confluence age. And this is why you children have to be very cautious about yourselves. Also continue to look at your karmic accounts. You have come here to settle your karmic accounts. It should not be that you come here and continue to create further karmic accounts so that you then have to experience punishment. The punishment in the jail of a womb is not a small thing. Because of this, you have to make a lot of effort. This destination is very high and this is why you have to move along with great caution. You definitely have to conquer sinful thoughts. To what extent have you gained victory over sinful thoughts? To what extent are you able to stay in these days of being free from thoughts? That is, in these days of being beyond happiness and sorrow, all of you can know this for yourselves. If you are not able to understand this for yourselves, you can ask Baba because you are his heirs and so he can tell you Acha, to the sweetest beloved 
long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children says namaste to the spiritual father essence for dhyana number 1 wake up at amrit vela and have a sweet conversation with baba then while eating and doing your work stay in remembrance of baba forget the relations of the body consider yourself to be a soul and make your vision of brotherhood form second gain victory over your sinful thoughts and remain in a detached stage of being free from any thoughts of happiness or sorrow systematically sacrifice the vices and become yogi yukt blessing may you be an embodiment of dharna and create the future world bracket sansar on the basis of your elevated sanskars the future world will be created on the basis of your present elevated sanskars the sanskars of one kingdom and one religion are the foundation of the future world the religion and dharna of self sovereignty are purity in thoughts words actions relationships and connections in every way let there not be any type of impurity that is any other religion in your thoughts or even in your dreams where there is purity there is no name or trace of anything else anything wasteful or sinful such souls are called embodiments of dharna slogan the power of determination melts harsh sanskars like heat melts wax slogan the power of determination melts harsh sanskars like heat melts wax om shanti